Hey guys, it's Justin here, and we're back at it again in the Summit Racing Studio to begin another one of our truck upgrade series. This time, we're turning our attention to late model trucks, those trusty workhorses we count on day in and day out. Specifically, how to upgrade one that's maybe a few years old and has seen some miles. Our end goal here is to add some function, reliability, and versatility. Basically, these upgrades are an alternative to buying an all-new truck because not only are new trucks crazy expensive, but it may be hard to find the one you want or take a long time to get one by ordering it. So let's introduce you to our new project vehicle. A 2018 Ram 2500 equipped with the good old Cummins 6.7 turbo diesel. Sure, it's been ridden hard and has about 53,000 miles on the clock, but there's still plenty of life left. And we're gonna reinvest the money we save by buying used to upgrade this thing to be better than brand new. And over the course of a handful of episodes, we're gonna show you a few key upgrades that will keep this thing going strong, regardless of what the odometer says. But before all that, in this first episode, we're gonna be talking about something that's a little uncomfortable for a lot of folks, and that's getting hitched. No, 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 not in the romantic sense. We're gonna be discussing the differences between a few receiver hitches, because this truck's primary job will be pulling a bumper pull trailer. In the future, we'll cover some more hitch types and styles, but for now, it's all about receiver hitches. And if you plan on doing much towing, be it a cargo trailer, a boat, or whatever, this video is a great place to start, so let's dive in. So let's talk a little bit about our hitches. The first one we're gonna talk about is the good old trusty tri-ball. Now we've all been going to buy a trailer and forgot our hitch, so we had to stop somewhere like Summit Racing here and buy a hitch. Now this hitch is great because you have three different options, so it covers the three most common trailer balls, but the disadvantage of this is there's no adjustability. So wherever the hitch is in the receiver, that's where it stays. So if you need to adjust your trailer, if it sits low or high, you can't do it with this hitch. So you get into something a little more extravagant like this Gen Y here. Now with the Gen Y, this thing is super cool because of how tough and rugged it is. It's got all steel construction and man, this thing has some weight to it. But you have all these square slots to adjust your hitch so you can set your hitch height wherever you need it to be. Next, we have this bulletproof hitch here. Now this thing is all steel construction too. And the nice thing about this is bulletproof offers a couple different accessories like a pinnel hitch, a tow loop, all sorts of fun stuff for the bulletproof hitch line. And then we have the weight safe hitch here. This thing is awesome because it's lightweight, so you're not gonna bust your back trying to put this thing in your receiver. And not only is it adjustable like these two steel hitches here, but it also has this cool gauge on the side, which allows you to see what your tongue weight is, which is very important. And we'll touch more on that in a little bit. This hitch also has a lot of finite adjustment, so you can set this exactly where you need it to be. Now that we've learned a little bit more about all these hitches, let's talk about the one we've selected for our Ram here. We've decided on the adjustable hitch setup from WeightSafe because we want our truck to be able to pull a wide range of loads. The good news is, is the installation on this hitch isn't that tough. In fact, you can do it in your driveway with some basic hand tools in about 30 minutes or so. But it'll take longer to get this thing out of the box and assemble it than it is to put it in the truck. So let's go ahead and get our weight safe hitch assembled. Now the cool thing about this thing is it has interchangeable balls. So you simply select whatever ball size you want. We're gonna put a two and five sixteenths in ours, slide it in here, and then it has this pin that locks it into place. So go ahead, slide that pin in, flip the ring in, and then you're gonna take your hitch here and slide it on. And I can't rant and rave enough about how lightweight this thing is. You can just flip it around wherever you need to be, and it is really spectacular. Just go ahead and slide your locking pin in there, and to adjust your hitch, it's super simple. You just slide this out, slide it to where you need it to be, and slide this in. Then we'll go ahead and lock that in place, take our keys out, slide our cover on, and we're ready to slide it in our truck. So let's head out back and get this thing in. So let's go ahead and get our way safe hitch installed. But before that, we'll need to use this reducer sleeve to reduce our receiver from two and a half inches to two inches. And the reason we're doing that and didn't get a two and a half inch shank hitch is because this hitch could be used in multiple vehicles. So it was easier to use a reducer sleeve so this can be used in multiple trucks versus just getting a hitch that doesn't fit in everything. 
So you go ahead and this just slides right in here, super easy. And then you grab your hitch, put that in, and then we'll slide our pin in. So there you go. With this WaySafe adjustable hitch installed, we've taken our first steps towards upgrading this trusty workhorse for even more practicality and versatility. With a tow rating well over 10,000 pounds, this three quarter ton Ram will certainly put this hitch to the test. So the party has just begun with our Ram and we've got a lot more planned for this rig, including some performance and exterior upgrades that you'll wanna see. So click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to ensure you don't miss a thing. I'm Justin with Summit Racing. Thanks for watching.